School can be tough, especially if you are alone. John Halligan learned firsthand what the impact of bullying can be on a teenager. His son Ryan, 13 at the time, became involved with a girl named Ashley over Instant Messenger. Well, she ended up pretending to like my son online, and uh, when eighth grade started up, she pulled a rug out from underneath him, told him that he was just a loser, that he really, she really didn't want anything to do with him, that she was only joking. And um, one could argue that might have been the last straw for my son, and it pretty much pushed him over the edge to suicide, unfortunately. John is using his experience to teach others about bullying and suicide prevention. I think the problem is, is that a lot of times kids just don't realize how much they're affected in an individual when they do stuff like this to somebody. This girl is still alive to tell about her near-death experience with bullying. The little things that people say are like, they like hurt a lot. Once you've, no one understands what it's like. And I mean no one until they've been through it. I just like was in my room and I almost killed myself. The assistant principal at Lakewood Middle describes how they are handling bullying. We would set up kind of a mediation for what we would do should it continue to happen. Then the online, um, the verbal is also just as damaging. And so we get a lot of Facebook texting, which is difficult because it's outside of school. So then it gets brought into school and we have to pull in again um, all sources, witnesses, and look at everything that's that's on the table. Even after the bully is punished, emotional scars remain with the victim. For the, the child, the victim of the bullying situation, they're very hesitant about going to authority and um, we would probably establish a, a safe person and a safe place for him to be able to have checkpoints for how things are going and I would probably work out something with him on who that safe person would be that would be communicating to me. The bully and the victim are not the only people in the equation. They're called the bystanders. You know, they're the kids who stand there and laugh. They think this stuff is funny. They are a big part of the problem because that's where the bullies get the permission from. That's where they get the power trip from. This girl was fortunate. She reached out for help before it was too late. John and his son Ryan's story are very different. If anyone, like, is upset, it's okay to cry. Like, don't be... Don't hold in your emotions because it only gets worse. In retrospect, uh, clearly the last couple of months of his life, there were signs and there were, there were signals there. For BBTV, I'm Kelly Skeen.